What's up everybody, my name is Vince, welcome to the channel. We have exciting news for you. We're bringing you information on Milwaukee Tools, brand new MX Fuel 14 inch cutoff saw. Milwaukee states it delivers the best 14 inch cutoff saw experience providing true 14 inch cut capacity, the fastest cuts from start to finish, and no gas headaches. No emissions, less vibration, and quiet operations allow users to work safer and be more productive. Let's get to it! The MX Fuel 14 inch cutoff saw delivers the best 14 inch cutoff saw experience. It all starts by delivering the capacity and the performance that users demand and expect for a product within this category. We deliver full 14 inch cut capacity. So as you transition from gas to battery technology, you don't have to make any compromises on that depth of cut and the range of applications that you can complete with this product. The next thing is delivering the fastest cut start to finish. So we deliver the same cut speed as the market leading gas saw. And we do it with eliminating all the steps that you need to start that product by you know, pulling that recoil, anything with choking it, getting it up and running. So we can get to work faster. We can do more throughout the day, save you a lot of time and money. So now AJ and I are gonna show you head to head what it looks like with the MX fuel saw versus the market leading gas saw. that you need to get the saw up and running, it can save you a lot of time. I get to work a lot faster. So where AJ is getting one cut done, I'm you know, almost through my second cut. So what that means is if I'm making intermittent cuts throughout the day, I don't have to worry about starting that saw. And I'm saving minutes every time I need to pick it up. When we eliminate that gas engine, we can get rid of a lot of noise and vibration that comes along with this product. Honestly, we weren't really gonna talk about noise in the beginning because we didn't think anybody would notice. You cut concrete or metal, it's really, really loud. Uh, but everybody we've taken it to, they all keep saying, man, it's way less noise. Or they'll spin up our saw and say, you hear that? You hear what? It's like, exactly, there's no noise. The other thing is vibration. So when we eliminate all that vibration, people keep saying, yeah, it's a smoother cut. I have more control. So we're gonna show you what this looks like side by side. Here, what you're gonna see is that we've actually maxed this thing out. It normally comes in about four meters per second squared, sometimes in the five meters per second squared range for the gas saw. With the MX fuel saw, we're at about one. So it's a quarter of the vibration that you feel throughout the day versus the market leading gas saw. The next piece is noise. We're at about 110 decibels here versus 95 here. So well over 10 decibels less, which is 50% less perceivable noise to the person using the product. On top of that, we eliminate all the idling noise. So now you have a lot less noise on site throughout the day. It's easier to communicate, which can lead to a safer job site. So now we're, we're back indoors. We're in a nice, tight, confined room. Uh, it's a place you hope you never have to use a gas saw all day. It wouldn't take more than a couple seconds, you'd have this entire room filled with fumes. Now, if you want to or if you need to, you can cut in this area all day long with an MX Fuel 14 inch cutoff saw. And we've noticed it's, it changes the way that people can approach their work because now you don't have to go outside every time you need to make a cut. The other thing, you know, we started running into some interesting things here in Wisconsin, uh, field testing throughout the winter. It was hard to get stuff back after they'd used it for a while because they got to work indoors in the heat for the first time while they're using this product. But it's not just that, you know, you start thinking about the cost savings over time. 
Uh, you don't have to worry about the, the fuel, the oil, the gas that you need to buy, what you might spend on premix throughout a year. Uh, that versus what you would spend charging a battery, you know, you could save over $100 a year for an average user, real easy. And that's not even counting the, the stuff that you'd use just idly. Next piece is repair costs. You know, carburetor, $70. Winterization, $100 plus. Straight gas in the fuel tank, you're talking four or $500 real quick. We can get rid of all that, because again, no gas engine. And so we're able to eliminate a lot of those gas headaches that come along with the current solutions today. The next piece though, once people feel the power, they understand the benefits, it always comes back to the same thing. Yeah, but how much work can you get done? How much runtime is there? And so that's where, when you look at the packs that we operate from. So with the MX fuel system, we're gonna have two batteries. We're gonna have a CP pack and an XC pack, similar to M18. You know, we have one for inline, more ergonomically focused, and one that's just the workhorse. That XC pack unlocks a huge amount of capability for us moving forward, and that's what this saw requires. Most challenging application we've gone after as an organization so far. And so what you're gonna see is with two of these XC packs, we're gonna be able to get the same amount of work on two of those as you do on a tank of gas with a market leading saw. And so when you look at this up here, what we have is an uh, eight inch ductile iron. With two XCs, I can get nine cuts. With a tank of gas, I can get nine cuts. We have cast iron down there. We get 10 to their nine. You look at block, 25 to 25. You look at easier applications, like we have PVC, corrugated decking, rebar. We can get more than a tank of gas can get with two XC batteries. And then finally, you look at concrete. Cutting fully plunged five inch depth of cut in concrete is again the hardest application we've gone after as an organization. It's pushed the limits of our battery technology and caused us to drive out to deliver something different. And with that, that one's a little bit uh, tougher. So we get, you know, three XC batteries is the same as what you get on a tank of gas. But really it's all important because when we go and talk to a lot of people, a tank of gas gets most people through the day, especially with these applications we have up here. And that's where as we go on field tests, people that have two XC packs that are cutting pipe all day, they're getting through a day. Sometimes they might have to charge a pack, you know, halfway through the day to get through the entire job, but we're getting people through a, a big portion of that day. You're saying two batteries equals one tank of gas? Yep. And how long two, took you charge? Like one big and one small? Uh, two of the big ones. And so uh, for recharge time, it's 45 minutes on the CP pack. 90 minutes on the XC pack. The next piece, when you look at, you know, runtime and concrete, over here you'll see our walk behind cutoff saw cart. And this is important when it comes to battery because uh, this will help you get a more efficient cut. Because if you're cutting by hand, there's that opportunity that you get off your line, you start to bind up a little, and it hurts your runtime. If you use our cart, you're gonna get that, it's gonna hold that blade fixed for you so you get the most efficient cutting. And now I can make longer cuts. Our saw comes in at 31.9 pounds, and so if I have to make long cuts in concrete or maybe I'm doing you know, one inch scores, then uh, leveraging the cart's gonna take the weight off the person using it. So now I can more easily walk behind and make those long cuts. So you get longer, easier cuts. So when you take all this and pull it together, that's how we deliver the best 14 inch cutoff saw experience. Any questions? What's the battery voltage? Great question. So, the, for this platform, it's really not about voltage in any way. So we're gonna talk a lot about horsepower. We'll release that information specifically surrounding voltage as we get closer to launch. But we're gonna hold that pretty close to the chest for the time being. And what did you say the names are, the designation letters of the two sizes? So we have a CP pack and an XC pack for the, for the larger one. CP and XC? Yeah. Just like in an How's the weight on it? Not bad. I thought, was, I thought it was going to be a brick, but it's not a brick. Right? I know all this information is new and exciting. If you want more information about the MX fuel line, you can click on any one of these videos here. If you like our content, like our channel, love our style, get subscribed over there. With that, I appreciate every single one of you. See you on the next one.